Hi, Kinder friends. Happy Earth Day. I hope you are getting to spend some time outside today to celebrate our Earth. I wanted to talk to you really quick today about what is Earth Day and why do we celebrate Earth Day. Today, or today is Earth Day. We celebrate every year on April 22nd, and we celebrate our Earth because the Earth is our home. It's where we live. We don't live on any other planets. Humans only live here on Earth. And so we need to try to take care of our Earth. That's one of the things that is our job as humans is we have to take care of our earth. Sometimes people make bad choices and our earth gets kind of gross, right? So people might throw trash on the ground. That's not a good choice. Um, people might um, be uh, throwing trash in the lakes too and in the water, and that's not good for the fish. So it's our job to take care of the earth, which is why we celebrate our earth every year. So let's talk about something that you guys might hear a lot about. You might see this symbol. Have you seen this symbol before? It's the reduce, reuse, and recycle symbol. So you might see that symbol everywhere because we do a lot of things with recycling. So I wanted to talk to you about what do those words mean? What does reduce mean? What does reuse and what does recycle mean? So first let's talk about reduce. Reduce means make it smaller or don't use it as much. And there's a couple different ways that we can reduce our... Um, uh, reduce the things that we use on our planet to help keep our earth clean. And one of them is transportation. That's like driving your car, okay? So driving your car, you have to use a lot of gas to drive your car. And when we use lots and lots and lots of gas and we drive lots and lots and lots of cars, it's not good for our earth. So some of the things that you can do to help is take a bus somewhere. Like when you ride the bus to school, that's helping our earth. Carpool, that means when you have more than one person in a car, that's helping our earth. Riding your bike instead of driving the car. So instead of driving the car to the park, ride your bike. Or just walking somewhere. Walking somewhere is a great way to help our earth. We try to not use our cars as much as we can just to help protect our earth. Another way that we can reduce is to reduce the water we use. So who needs water? The fish do, right? The fish need water and people need water. So we need to make sure that we're not wasting our water. So if we all have our faucets on all the time, we're wasting water and that's precious water that we need to keep for us to drink and for our um, the fish and everything else. So when you brush your teeth or when you wash your hands, make sure you turn off the water. So Put a little bit of water on your toothbrush and then turn it off while you're brushing your teeth. You can turn it back on to rinse it. It's okay to use a little bit of water. Like washing dishes, we have to have the water on when we're washing our dishes. And when you're washing your hands, you need the water on to wash your hands. But you can turn the water off in between to help save our water. One more way that you can help reduce, remember that means use less, is our electricity. We use electricity to turn our lights on and to turn on our lamps and our TVs. And a lot of times we use light bulbs that look like this. And we need light, right? You don't want to be in the dark all the time. It's important for us to have electricity to make sure that our stove works and our refrigerator works. But we don't always need our lights on. So we can turn off our lights when we don't need them. So that's reducing our electricity. So those are three ways that we can reduce. Can you say that word? Reduce. Good job. The next one is reuse. That means we use it again. We have a lot of things that we can reuse again instead of buying something new. Like our grocery bags. Some people have grocery bags that are made of fabric, so you can use them again and again and again, and you don't have to throw them away every time. So you can reuse grocery bags. You can reuse boxes. Maybe you got a box with a package in the mail. You could take that box and turn it into something else. You can reuse it instead of throwing it away. Reuse books. You can buy books that people have already used instead of buying brand new books. Or if you have a book, you can share it with a friend or share it with your brother and sister. That's reusing your books. Rechargeable batteries. These are special batteries that you can charge again and reuse them. Batteries are one of those things that we need a lot of, right, to make our toys go, um, but they can also be bad for our earth. So using rechargeable batteries is a really, really good idea. And one more thing is toys. You can share toys. You Not right now, we can't share toys, but you can share toys with your brothers and sisters right now. And that's reusing toys. Instead of throwing a teddy bear away because it might have a little hole in it, patch it up with a little heart like that teddy bear is, and then you can reuse it.
Then the last word is recycle. We recycle a lot in kindergarten, right? We have that blue bin, kind of looks like this. You might have one at your house too, that we recycle things so we can use them again. One of the things that we can recycle is paper. So we have our regular paper, cardboard boxes, like your cereal box is made of paper, and our paper towel tubes or our toilet paper tubes, those are all made of paper or cardboard, and you can recycle those. You can put them in the blue basket instead of throwing them away in the trash can. Another thing we can recycle is plastic, like plastic jugs or plastic water bottles. We can recycle those. We can recycle glass, like glass jars. And we can recycle aluminum, or aluminum if you want to be fancy. Um, cans or pop cans are things that you can recycle. So there's a ton of other things you can recycle too, but these are kind of the main things that we can recycle instead of throwing them away. So we have reduce, reuse, recycle. Those are three things that we can practice today for Earth Day. So my question for you, kind of friends, is how are you going to take care of the earth? Tell me, how are you going to take care of our earth today and every day? Because even though it's Earth Day, we can celebrate Earth Day every day. So I hope you get outside today. Enjoy the sunshine. Have a wonderful Earth Day, kinder friends. Bye-bye.